Hello, Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, here to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from the cold footings of my deck. Just wanted to say thank you to all my supporters, old and new. I wouldn't be where I am without you. You are my Christmas gift this year. So thank you for everything. And I just wanted to say a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for December 25th through December 31st. This is for the sign of Leo. I want to remind you that this may not resonate. Just take what does and leave the rest. I had a message before I started the reading. It was stand up. Stand up. I don't know what that means, but it's for you. Stand up for yourself, perhaps. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. If this doesn't resonate with you, just take what does and leave the rest. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards laid out. Ooh. I like to have everything just so. Some sneaky business going on. Sneakiness, sneaky secrets. Somebody is holding something back. You know, somebody's holding something back. There's something sneaky. All right, there's something sneaky. Dishonest. Somebody's seeking balance within the relationship. Somebody's not grateful. I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but somebody isn't in their right mind, okay? They're not doing very well. All right, uh, financially, security, you know, their own insecurities aren't, aren't at par. You know, there's insecurities here. Not feeling grateful for all that they have. Not feeling very prosperous at this time, you know, when they should be. Okay, somebody's not feeling very well at this time with where they're at. Okay, and they're seeking balance. Perhaps somebody is giving more than receiving, you know. So maybe somebody's not receiving. Somebody's not giving in, a rela in part of this relationship. Something is on the verge of ending, okay? It's like a new beginning is needed, but it's not happening. Yeah, this is the commitment, contentment card. It's reversed. There's something sneaky going on in regards to some kind of, you know, commitment. Somebody's not putting in effort. Now, I don't know if it's you or the other person, but there's a lack of effort here with this Eight of Pentacles reversed. You know, and somebody may be even giving the silent treatment. Somebody's not speaking up. They're just keeping it in, holding it in. Maybe they're just, you know, holding a grudge, just keeping a secret, keeping it in, not, not standing up for themselves. And it's time. It's time to take the lead. It's time to do what you need to do for yourself. It's time for you to be the leader. It's time to get your life back on track and to bring structure back to your home, back to your life. It's time to bring the structure back. It's time to uh, take the lead, okay? And you do have to be honest, okay? There's some dishonesty here, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody's not being honest. You know, right next to this Nine of Pentacles, maybe they're not being honest because they don't want to be alone. Because upright, this is the single person, somebody who is single, but, you know, this, this signifies that maybe somebody isn't speaking up. They're not taking a stand because they don't want to be alone. We do have you here, Leo. 
I'm going to tell you who else we have. We have Aries. We have Sagittarius. Aries and Sagittarius. We also have Scorpio, but it is reversed, okay? It's reversed. There, this is the Scorpio, and this is love, okay? This is an abundance of love, okay? But there's somebody not putting in effort, and that could be you. I'm not sure. It is connected to you. Somebody is not putting in effort, but it's also connected to this Scorpio, okay? So, it's so, and it could be any sign, so don't even, I mean, those are just probables. It really can be any sign, okay? So this is, this is saying that somebody, there's a lack of effort. Somebody's not putting it, in, putting it all in. There's somebody's getting the silent treatment, whether it's you or the other person. The, 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 somebody's not speaking up. They're not taking a stand. Things are out of whack. They're not out of balance. I mean, they're not in balance. Somebody needs to give a little bit more to the relationship. Things are at a standstill. And there's no forward movement. Something needs to end, but it's not. Okay? A fresh star is needed, but nobody's taking action with this Knight of Pentacles reverse. Nobody's taking action. Somebody's very stern about it, probably very hot-headed, holding a grudge, but not speaking. See, the lips are pursed, they're tight, and somebody is not speaking. Okay? This tells me that you need to broaden your horizons. It's, it's time to act and do the practical thing. It's time to be practical. It's time to focus and to speak. Speak with kindness. Just be kind. Okay? With See the pursed lips here. Somebody, instead of speaking, it's causing problems because there's lack of communication here. It's affecting contentment and commitment. This is contentment and commitment. It's reverse. It's really affecting the commitment. It feels Somebody feels like they're being deceived or they're being cheated or there's some sneaky shit going on. Okay? Now, I don't know who this for. It may not resonate with you. All right? This one right here, this is like a breakup card. One of the five of cups and the eight of, cu eight of cups are breakup cards. You know, somebody thought that it was love. Somebody thought that it was love. They put in a lot of effort. Perhaps they even got married. I don't know. There was some kind of connection here, but it feels like, you know, now things are falling apart. And instead of owning up to it and standing up for and doing what's right, right and speaking up, they're holding it in, keeping their lips uh, zipped, keeping their lips zipped. And it's really hurting everybody involved. Okay, there's a lot of hurt here. Instead of realizing that there's no need to cry over what's happening now, there's there's more to be had right behind you. All you have to do is turn around and head in that direction, and love will come again. Okay? But right now, somebody's just not grateful. They're not seeing things in the right perspective. And I think the reason that they're not is for fear of being alone. They feel like they can't take care of themselves. Okay, because if this was upright, this nine of pentacles, this person feels comfortable taking care of themselves. They're happy. They can do it. They feel good about it, you know, but when it's reversed, they're scared. You know, it just feels like there's some regrets here. Somebody has some regrets, you know, because they thought it was love and maybe at one time it was. But right now, somebody's not putting in effort and there's something going on that is sneaky, lies, deceit, not true. Okay? It's affecting the relationship. And nobody's taking action. With that Knight of Pentacles up there, nobody's taking action. There is something going on. I mean, this is a secret. There is a secret right next to this Seven of Swords. I mean, there is a secret. And this is dishonesty right here. Somebody is being dishonest. They're not speaking the truth. They're not standing up for themselves. They're not realizing that they, they have a lot already. I mean, you have a lot already, whoever this person is. You have plenty. There's no reason to cry. There's no reason to feel the way that you're feeling because you have plenty to survive okay there's regrets there's definitely regrets it's time to do the right thing there may be some legal issues that come about when you do the right thing 
but it is karma and it is time to do the right thing. When this card comes up, it means that it's time to be honest. It's time to use your integrity. It's time to make a decision regarding this heaviness that you're carrying inside and keeping your mouth shut about. It's time to do the right thing and stand up and speak for yourself. It's time to bring balance back to your life. It's lacking. It's time to get your life back on track. Take the lead and do what's right for you. I see that you're confused, and one of the reasons that you're confused is because of being alone. Finances, perhaps. You know, I don't want to be alone anymore. You know, but the fact of the matter is, you can choose the materialistic aspects of being with someone. Could be codependency, even. Or you can choose to find real love. What's it going to be? You have to make a choice either way. You're, you have to pay the consequences for your choices. This is about consequences regarding your choices. If you decide not to speak up, then and this continues to be a secret, all it's going to do is hurt everybody involved. It is time to do the right thing. I see, you know, this is the Ten of Pentacles. It's reversed. There could be a change in your home. You know, somebody could be moving in. Somebody could be moving out. You know, whatever the case may be, but there could be a change in your home. You know, it is reversed. It does appear that it's it's something, it's a completion. Perhaps, you know, it's a very big change because it is a 10. You know, it's a completion that does bring balance back to your life. That does make you be the head of the household, be the leader. You know, you have the power to succeed. You have all the resources. All you have to do is be willing to use them. You have to be use your own resources to succeed. You have them within you. Okay? You have to be willing though. This is a willingness to succeed. Okay? This also tells me that you have to be willing to shed the old. To shed the old, you have to be honest with yourself. Okay? Or else you pay the consequences. This right here is a dead end. It's a dead end. With this upright, it's a new road, a new course, a new path. Reversed, it's a dead end. Something is not moving. Something is going nowhere. And perhaps somebody is staying out of code for codependency reasons. You know, it feels like there's a lack of balance, there's a lack of peace, there's a lack of harmony, and all you guys really want is that ultimate love. You're looking for that happily ever after with somebody, you know, that you had a long time ago, that kind of love, that first love. You're just looking for that that feeling of euphoric love, you know, that first time you were ever fell in love. That's what you're looking for, but it's lacking. It's lacking right here. Okay? So you're dreaming about it. You're dreaming about and that's probably one of the reasons why you can't let go because you in the past perhaps you were alone and you don't want to go back there because here's the past and here's being alone, you know what I mean? And it, it just feels like for many of you, you're dreaming about the past, but you can't move in that direction. You're dreaming about past love and the feeling of it, or you're dreaming about somebody from the past and the love that they gave you, that kind of love, okay? And you want to head, you want to have that, or you want to head in that direction, but you can't because there's there's like not no reciprocation of some sort, either from you or the other person. Somebody isn't putting in effort, and I don't know who it is. Could be you or the other person. There's a lack of communication here, big time, big time. You know, and I have to tell you that there could be somebody from your past that is around you that wants to come into your life, but you can't take action because you're not shedding the old. You can't. You can't reunite with if this is a person from your past. And this is for somebody. I don't know who. But I felt the need to tell you that perhaps there's somebody from your past that wants to enter your life. But you're not shedding the old to get there. You're not doing the right thing. And that's why this is in reverse. You could miss the opportunity. This also tells me that, um, I have to tell you that somebody from the past does not mean somebody that you dated. It can 
but it can mean that it is somebody that you knew 30 years ago or somebody from your hometown or somebody that from a past life when somebody says somebody from the past it can be somebody you've known before okay it can be somebody you dated now I feel like you know right now you're stuck in a dead end and you're going nowhere communication is needed it's time to take a stand it's time to bring balance back to your life it's time to take the lead the lead it's time to be the head of the household again it's time to have strength it's time to have do the practical thing but codependency issues are a factor Communication issues, big time, big time. Oh boy. And remember I was talking about somebody from the past? There's a reason I mentioned that. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Oh my goodness. Now this may have already happened or it may not have. Time is fluid and perhaps you can't move forward with this because you are still stuck in a situation that is going nowhere. Keep an open mind. Oh boy, this is good advice right here considering this card. Because like I said, you may not even know who this person is, but they are from your past. Like it could be somebody from a past life, or it could be somebody from 20 years ago or 30 years ago or from your childhood or from your hometown that has changed and so you really don't know them anymore your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations okay so this card says a lot this new person is not who you think they are but keep an open mind because it could be love it could be true love Okay, but right now you're in a situation that you need to take action. You absolutely, oh my God, I just flipped this deck over to move this card. I have to show it to you. All right, take that however you want it. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. There's your reading, Leo. I think you got quite a bit out of that. You know what you need to do. If you choose to flip this card over, I can tell that it won't be for long. That's what I have. If you're happy, stay where you're at. Talk to you later.